Officer Oil here when I'm not fighting crime, I'm fighting friction. My name's Scott McAdoo, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, please like, and we'd love to hear those comments from you. I borrowed Grandpa's generator. It's the Predator 2000 inverter gasoline generator. Borrowed it, nice enough to let me use it. And I went and I filled it up with fresh gas. It's got a full tank of 93 octane fresh fuel in there, but knowing grandpa, and I mean this with all due respect, like many of us out there, I know that we sometimes can get a little lazy and forget to stretch our equipment, let it run, let fuel sit for way too long without getting out there and firing things up and let the juices flow. So what I wanted to do for grandpa was, is I wanted to return this generator with nice fresh fuel that is stabilized and protected for the long-term storage. I don't know when he's gonna use this thing again. It could be next week, it could be six months from now, it could be a year from now. Who knows, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a mental note to remind him, hey grandpa, get out there and fire that thing up every now and then, let it run, get the, get the juices going, burn out all the, uh, the moisture that's in there and let it stretch. So great thing to do with your small engine equipment, anything that sits, all right? So anything, your power sports, uh, your dirt bikes, your four wheelers, your, uh, your boats, your jet skis, your chainsaws, small engines, uh, mowers, you name it, anything gasoline that sits for a little while, unlike our cars and trucks that we're driving every day, is I always recommend the Amsoil Quick Shot, all right? This does three, outstanding things to help solve a lot of our problems out there so first it will stabilize the gas all right it'll stabilize it it'll stabilize it for more in-season use everybody asks kind of how long I say conservative about six months all right six months try to burn that fuel up very conservative can you go longer I really believe you could okay so first it's gonna stabilize the gas two it's going to prevent the nasty ethanol issues that we're fighting here, especially in Maryland. Almost every fuel station you go to has 10% ethanol, all right? And that, that E10, ethanol is in there. It's alcohol, corn-based alcohol. It loves moisture, it loves water, and it loves it so much that it'll suck it right out of your atmosphere, out of the atmosphere, go into your fuel system. The water molecules will then condense they get to be so many that it'll condense and separate and drop to the bottom of the tank and the process is called phase separation. So what this does is it keeps the water molecules naturally dispersed so that it will just work its way through with the normal fuel system and the normal fuel process, okay? And the third thing that this does is it will clean out all the performance robbing deposits that are in there, all right? So if anything's running rough, you got a rough idle, low idle, startability issues get yourself some quick shot and try this before you go tearing carburetors apart and send it off to an expensive repair shop but it does three great things and it's an outstanding peace of mind and i run it in all my small engines my toys the power sports all the above okay all right so this is what it looks like comes in a little eight ounce bottle all right here's all your instructions on the back all right very easy and then we also for those larger larger applications you can get yourself a quart bottle okay so you got yourself a boat or something or classic car that's going to be sitting for a while so this little eight ounce bottle if it's if your application has never been treated will treat six gallons of fuel on an initial cleanup what i mean by that is you double the dose instructions are on here you'll see a cleanup and a maintenance Instructions are on here, so double it the first time, six, one bottle, six gallons, and then once it's clean, then you just have to maintain it. You only need half as much, so one bottle every for every 12 gallons of fuel. So let me see if I can kind of show you here. See that there? Continued protection, clean up, right there, okay? So we're gonna put some of this in, and then knowing Grandpa again, all right, he's probably not gonna start it up, and then I'll probably ask to borrow it again, and of course, I want it to work. 
I always love to put a splash of the Amsoil gasoline stabilizer for longer term storage, okay, for out of season use. All right, so this is just a little extra boost, okay, to prevent the gasoline from breaking down. Long term storage just takes a splash. One ounce of this will treat two and a half gallons. And my understanding, this thing only holds 1.2 gallons of fuel. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment below, but that's my understanding what it holds. So let's get this dumped in here and then fire it up so we can get it all worked through, okay? All right, fuel gauge, pegged, full. Gasoline right to the top. All right, and let's get this magic sauce dumped in there. All right, don't need much. Okay, just a little bit. That is, should be plenty. All right, a little splash of that. And then we'll get our stabilizer in there next. All right, here you go. Extended season, control, extended storage. Let's get a splash of this in there. There we go. Not much. Perfect. Cap back on. Okay, so we've got the vent on. Start here. And let's give it a pull. There we go. Fire it up. Start. Let that warm up a little bit. All right, so we're up and running here. Fuel's in there. Give it a little bit, a little shake. Work itself in. You want to let it run for a little while. Run, run, run for a few minutes so that we can get the fuel that's in the tank, our fuel treatment, our quick shot, and our gas stabilizer into the carburetor. Actually in all the way into the fuel system for our extended protection, okay? So just let it run, let it stretch and then shut it off and put it away and you'll be good to go. All right, so I got it over there running in the background. I stepped away so you could hear me a little bit better, but make sure you're treating those small engines with the Amsoil Quick Shot and the gasoline stabilizer. Save yourself a ton of headache and a bunch of expensive repair bills from the small engine shops, which I know I work, I've got a lot of clients and they tell me that about 90% of their work is fuel related, folks. And what does that tell you? Solve the problem now, keep yourself out of there so that when you need that generator in that catastrophe with that natural disaster, you're gonna be good to go, all right? So if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me, what I recommend you do, click below, click on the link below and become a preferred customer. Amsoil's great program will save you 25% off of our list price. If you go to our webpage, you'll see the list price and then you become a member, save 25%. We're gonna get you free shipping right to your doorstep. Anything over hundred bucks, great program. Click on that link below. Make sure you plug in my referral number, all right? This way you'll be working with me, helps give me a little bit of credit for the introduction, helps the family out. Referral number 16492274. If you have a fleet of generators or municipal or commercial fleet or any other areas we can help you, that link below, join our commercial fleet program. We can get you an even bigger discount on top of that just because of your sheer volume and, and the business that we're doing with one another. And we wanna say thank you and extend those discounts. If you're a repair shop, a parts store, retail, all right, we've got another great program called a retail on the shelf program, an installer program. We can also get you some co-op credits. We can get you some installer discounts, depending upon how you have what you have. Those links are below as well. And again, please, folks, make sure you plug in my referral number. All right, one six four nine two seven four. Stay tuned for more fighting friction content, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you, Officer Oil. We are out.